Well, bad news everybody. I'm going to have to euthanize the GTS. Yes, my one of my favorite cars, the high revving, screaming, four-cylinder, 1.6 high output, 1990 Toyota Corolla GTS. Last summer I let some YouTuber drive it. He was racing me on the field and when he shifted into second he busted the transmission so now all we got is first gear, not even reverse gear. So let's see if it starts for one last time. I don't want to jump it and destroy the engine or crush the oil pan. I don't want to drive into the lake because I want to save the motor so I'll give it one final drive back to the building and pull the engine out. Good luck. Goodbye. Oh well, lasted me a long time and was very dependable. Only a couple times it didn't start in the winter. Now we haven't even driven it yet this year. This uh, catastrophe happened last year in late September. Now you know why I haven't been driving it. So the battery was put in it this spring for a start and it did start but that was a few months ago. So this is a cold old start. Shifter doesn't even work most of the time. It's like jammed and whatever in between gears. So something, something in there like pieces or chunks. Ah, oh, come on. Sometimes you got to hit the starter with a hammer. Although the battery could be low, it has been sitting so long. Well, we're on take two now. I opened the hood and beat the starter with a chunk of metal I found, so now I'll see if it cranks. Oh, don't you just love your Toyotas? Definitely got to save this motor. I don't even think it has a neutral anymore. Oh, it moved. It only has third or fifth. Come on. Oh. Well, first now is where second is. Sometimes it moves around. That's weird. See, does it have a neutral? It doesn't even have a neutral, so turn the key off, close the hood, and give her her final ride. Damn it. I love my Toyotas. We had to euthanize the Camry too because it ran bad and this thing runs perfect. Redneck hood prop, top of a stove. Then we'll maybe have to get some pretty woman to destroy it with some heavy equipment. Who knows? Sad day. Well, at least I got a 2000 car to drive now. Now, that's first now. It might have first and fifth gear. Too bad there's no other gear to shift to. Drives perfect. power, even with a cold motor. Let's see if I got any more gears. Oh, first and second are both first. because that's where I'm pushing it. It doesn't even have a neutral anymore. All it's got is balls out first. It feels so bad having to get rid of this car because who wants to drive around in first gear all day?
can't decide if I'm going to use the tractor or the shop. On the topic of favorite cars, no one can forget David's Farm first original redneck roller coaster in its classic pose. But we have an imposter. A car that's just as good. Well, almost. Who knows? How can anybody outdo the original? Well, Emil Lubin from the Netherlands, username MasterMilo82 from YouTube, has duplicated my car with some kind of European car. And they have one advancement I don't have, I guess, for safety. If you put the brakes on too hard on my car, you're done for. The car could flip right over and kill you. But I guess they thought of that. <laughs> and they uh, put some really good support bars on there. And they can do just as good of endos. Of course, I can touch my feet, just like they can. But that picture wasn't snapped at exactly the right time. So i got to give them thanks for copying my car, but doing the best job I've ever seen. I've seen several attempts on the internet. People have sent me the videos. But I've seen all their videos of this car, and their car works just as well as mine. Sweet. What kind of car is that, anyways?